My name is Matt Beaver. Uh, I've been a coal miner uh, since 1997, so coming up on 20 years. You gotta want to do it. I mean, you gotta want to. You gotta want to work. You know, I've talked to some miners who've been laid off, and they get other jobs, and they're bored. You know, they get bored. The work, your work ethic that you get from working in a mine, is like no other. You know, uh, you really, you have to want to do this. Not too many people can do it. You know, it's it's a it's a special, it takes a special, special breed of person. You don't do this if you don't like it. Coal miners, whether they work at, uh, you know, uh, a big mine, small mine, low mine, high mine, there's a, there's a brotherhood there. I think that coal, uh, a lot of times, is forgotten. Um, but, I mean, the big picture is power uh, in this area. It's jobs. Uh, it's family. You know, not only does it provide cheap, efficient power, and we have a lot of it, uh, it provides great jobs. I'm a roof bolder. It's about four feet high, and we put 42-inch bolts in the top, crawl everywhere, knees ache every night, but it's worth it for your family. Pat, my great grandpap, my pat, my dad all were miners. Oh, I got that about five years ago. Um, one guy did it, it was actually his first one. He was pretty proud of it. And my great grandpap wore a hat just like that. It's kind of ironic. Yeah, I got four kids, two daughters, two sons, wife, who's going to school right now, just in case anything happens to me. I voted for Donald Trump because he's pro coal, and hopefully he'll bring us back. Go Donald, save us. <laughs> uh, when I first started, we ran one section, two shifts, was about 50 guys, up until about a year and a half ago, and coal just kind of fell off, and right now I believe there's 13 of us left. But. Uh, Hopefully, hopefully things turn around. And we can get get those other 50 guys back to work. Uh, it makes it provides a good living. It's good, honest work, and uh, I think sometimes we lack that in our in our country. You know, and, you know, you're not going to get it for free. You know, you got to work for it, and I think that's what uh, coal mining will put that into you. I have three boys. Um, 15, 12, and 10. It's provided a great life for uh, for me and my family and allows allows my kids to, to participate in, in a lot of different things and and uh, kind of, you know, it makes it nice. For the past 20 years, I've been able to say that, I mean, knock, I've never been laid off. You know, now it's a little scary. A lot of times coal miners are gone before their kids wake up for school and you, they don't get to text them or call them all day long. Number 10, sophomore, Dylan Beaver, also injured in that plane tonight. This is what you work for, this is what, you know, we, at least me as a, as a father, I want to I wanna be able to see all my kids stop, you know, and I, and I want to be able to let them have every opportunity to go ahead and do anything and everything they can. Yeah!